Hey guys, it's me, Tex here, back again with another Identity V uh, Axe Boy replay commentary match replay with commentary. We're here, Axe Boy. I'm running Excitement this time because it's a prisoner, batter, and enchantress, and so I really don't want to have to deal with her stunts if I don't have to. Right there, um, uh, don't ask me what that was. Um, uh, it was a bit of a misread. Um, uh, and uh, I I was basically trying to, to soul snipe, except I grabbed the closer soul instead of the further soul. So this is Embalmer. This is really good for me because Embalmer hasn't put down his coffin yet. So whenever he does it, I know exactly where that coffin's going to be. So here's where he puts his coffin, and I know that it's right here. And I'm just going to break this pile, and I'm going to keep following him. And because I want to get this embalmer down so that I can easily get him teared basically twice if he decides to go ahead and the coffin. So I'm kind of just looking. My snipes really aren't on point today, but that's okay. Because my chase is pretty good. Um, I, of course, I predict that he's going to vault that window, and he doesn't predict that all that jazz, so I'm able to get him down right there. And I'm going to bring him back to the chair right next to his coffin, so that if he decides to uh, coffin himself up, I can easily down him again immediately without any sort of problems. And of course, there's someone right here, and I can't see them, but y'all can. Um, uh, and uh, so, uh, the bomber is not going to uh, um, use the coffin just yet. But I'm going to just camp this chair for a bit. I want this embalmer to die as quickly as possible because those coffins can really carry late game. Unfortunately, uh, I'm a, I it was a bit of a brain fart there, but oh well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and also hit the enchantress. Um, this is to just kind of drive her back a little bit. Um, uh, it'll be easier. Um, uh, I'm planning on uh, trying to basically stop her from rescuing again. Or at least make it very hard. So then the batter comes. And then he is going to shoot me. Sorry for the lag there. I don't know if that's going to ca catch on the recording or not. It probably will. But anyways, so the batter is going to go ahead and uh, uh, try blocking. But I was able to get last effort on the embalmer. And so then I'm also going to hit the batter there. So just want a single hit on him. You should have probably tried pallet stunning me there. But oh well. So I still see those purple souls. So I know exactly where embalmer is. And I know exactly where he falls. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up this embalmer. By the way, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to mention my tree. It's downright. I bring up it because there's tonight. I have no idea where they are. I bring up excitement because I know that I'll guarantee to kill the embalmer. And I and so then I see the enchantress right here. Um, and I'm going to try going ahead and downing them. I don't make it, but I'm able to use my speed boost to down her anyways. And so I'm going to go ahead and chair the Enchantress. And then I'm going to put down a tree, and we're going to be all good. I'm just going to defend this tree, oh, sorry, defend this chair, so that I can get an easy win. I don't think I'm going to sweep, but, you know, it, that's okay. It, sweeps are hard, and they're rare. And so I'm thinking about doing, uh, but I of course see that he's just kind of focusing. So I know that the prisoner is probably right here. I just barely missed that snipe, and uh, but I do really well there because what I did is that I basically um, I hit her just as she was trying to stun me. And so then this prisoner right here is trying to get ready to stun me. I know so, but I unfortunately missed the snipe and the down. And I thought I was just close enough to the chair to get the. To where he wouldn't be able to stun me, but he is. But I'm able to hit the Enchantress immediately because the stun isn't that big for the prisoner. And then the batter comes and hits me. He, he doesn't make it in time though. Um, and so I'm trying to snipe him there. He dodges it. Good dodge from the batter. These are very good players. And so I'm going to break that little ball and uh, I'm going to keep on camping here. Because I'm fairly confident in my abilities to get a win at this point. 
Even if they're able to heal, they can't heal in time. And so then I see, oh, they're just going to stay there. And there's not much I can really do about that. So I'm going to go ahead, and I know they're both right here. I thought I could get the easy snipe there, but I didn't. But I, I'm still able to use my knowledge of my hitbox to be able to down him. And so then I'm going to... I don't want to transmit in any decoding. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, take out that cypher and then I'm going to go ahead and tear the batter and I could have probably four manned if I slugged but I figured that batter could have most likely prime that cypher very easily based off of the sound so I didn't want to risk it I wanted to go for the much safer op option and then at this point I also see the souls so I know exactly where prisoner is and so I'm going to go to him and uh, I still see his purple souls although you can't see them I wish you could. Um, uh, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep on chasing. I unfortunately don't get the snipe there. But I'm, I'm a little confident in myself that I can make this. Because it would be very hard with the prisoner at one health. It's very easy for me to, do to guard this gate. I'm still going to try sniping him. Uh, I'm... I'm not entirely sure where he is at this point, but then I see him. So I'm going to try sniping him. I miss, unfortunately. He stuns me again, which is a very good stun from the prisoner. I'm thankfully able to get my vines out just in time to uh, get to down the prisoner. And he's just barely not far close enough. See how close that was? Yeah, good job from the prisoner. That was very well played. I'm... But yeah, that was GG. I hope all of you enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it, and I've had some really good rounds. Goodbye.